Hi, AP students, Miss Clocky here. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your second week of class and the work you need to do. So your assignment is to create a sustained investigation. So in sustained investigation is you looking at one topic and exploring it in many different ways. And that's essentially what you're doing for your whole AP portfolio. Uh, this week, we're going to just get a little mini practice in. So I need you to think about what a series is. A series is, yeah, most of you think of Netflix, right? You think of TV series. Um, you think that things are repeated, things are the same, and you're right. That's exactly it. So a series is a set of repeated imageries or imagery or compositions or sometimes uh, styles. So you're looking at a collection of things that kind of match or can be related easily. So your challenge this week is to create a series of five pieces on small little index cards. So Johnson students, you each got a set of index cards that look like this in your pack from me. So you are going to use these and you can choose to use the line side or the blank side. I am not going to discriminate. You decide which works better for your ideas. Um, but you need to take this topic. The topic I'm giving you for this first week or we're giving you for this first week is transportation. So I want you to think about transportation in any way that interests you and expand on that and make a whole bunch of pieces related to transportation, whole bunch of pieces being five, right? Um, so once you've made this series, you will submit a notability note with uh, that contains all five photographs of your five index cards. And then each card must have a caption below it that explains how the image relates to transportation and what was the process you used to create the piece. So you're going to think about those things. Um, some questions to get you going a little bit and thinking about um, transportation and get some inspiration for ideas. How do you travel through the world? What allows you to travel? Where do you travel? How does it feel to travel? And what concerns you about travel? So these questions um, in our current time kind of really change the way we think about travel. I mean, they should, hopefully you're thinking about how it is to travel now versus how it was to travel a year ago. You can kind of go any way you want with this. Um, so to give you another example, if I were going to make a series, let's say about candy, because I love sweets, um, if candy were my topic, I would be thinking about, ooh, what types of candy do I like? I like hard candy and I like chocolate. What are they, you know, like, what is it that I'm getting from candy? It's sugar, right? It's a sugar high. So then I'd be thinking about like making a piece about sugar or maybe making a piece about melting candy or maybe I'd be focused more on chocolate and I'd be making, um, images related to like the cocoa bean or um, maybe the plants that grow cocoa or I would be thinking about eating chocolate, the experience of eating candy, like what it does for me. So like I can list off all of these different ideas and you could make, I could make a piece about sugar. I could make a piece about hard candy, hard candy melting, the joy of like eating. It could be a picture of my mouth <laughs> biting into a piece of candy. It could be a piece about, um, you know, like a sugar beet, the source of sugar or sugar cane, any of those things. So let your mind kind of rattle in the idea of transportation and just write down every idea that comes to mind and make a set of pictures about these ideas. So don't stress too much about all the details of like how finished or whatever. Just go with the ideas, make five pieces, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, I'm excited to see what you do.